Hello everyone. This is just a quick recap on travel allowances. Three key words are applicable in this video. First of all, you ask yourself who? Second, private. And lastly, what kind of travel allowance? Okay, so as it relates to the first thing, you ask yourself who owns the motor vehicle? You agree with me in the case of a travel allowance, the employer grants the employee a travel allowance based on the fact that the employee already owns the motor vehicle. Take into account that it's the employee that owns the motor vehicle and not the employer. Then secondly, private. Why? Because essentially what will happen is the employee would get the travel allowance and he would be able to deduct business expenditure. So therefore he will be taxed on the private portion of that allowance. And then lastly, you ask yourself, what is the travel allowance that is received? There are two options. It could either be a fixed monthly travel allowance as in the case with this example, or it could be a rate per kilometer. Under the fixed travel allowance per month, you would only consider whether the actual uh, expenditure could apply or the deemed method could apply. Things to consider with the actual is such a, is things such as finance costs, you would include into the actual expenditure incurred on the employee, and then a wear and tear. Remember the maximum amount is 665, and then the maximum limit over which you can get that wear and tear is a period of seven years. And then with regards to the deemed rate, I wanna show you, you would always apply the uh, monetary changes document. You would always apply travel allowance using this cost scale. Remember when it comes to the value of the vehicle, it is inclusive of that, that you look for here. And then remember uh, something that helped me when it comes to the deemed method is remembering an acronym FILM. I literally just learned this recently and Tejo Fatso helped me with this. FILM, fixed fuel and maintenance. So simple. Remember when it comes to the fixed cost, you use, uh, they are specifically relating to the rand amount here. And when it comes to fuel and maintenance, they are referring to cents per kilometer. Remember to convert your fixed cost to cents so as to not make mathematical errors. When it comes to a rate per kilometer, you'll be entitled to actual deemed as well as the simplified. And we know that with regard to the simplified, there it is at the bottom, 398 cents per kilometer. I wish this was this helped you in just remembering a brief overview for purposes of calculating the travel allowance to be included into taxable income.